and welcome to one of the fastest growing cities in the world. This is Shenzhen. Dubbed the Silicon Valley of tech hardware, this city in the south of China has seen explosive growth. The fact is, 40 years ago, none of this was here. This was merely a fishing village of 300,000 people. And now it's one of the fastest growing cities in the world. So today I wanna to show you some of my favorite things to do in this crazy city. So I think we have to start with the reason why Shenzhen is so popular in the first place. So Shenzhen has been incredibly popular for years now for being the ultimate shopping destination in China. There are a lot of people that come here on weekends just to shop. I'm now in one of the busiest shopping streets known as Dongmen Walking Street and here you can find pretty much everything. The Chinese phone cases are so extra. You need to see what some of these say. Like... I could spend hours in this place. And if you're after something a little more expensive, you're after those brand names. Shenzhen has mall after mall after mall after mall. So in order to understand the boom of Shenzhen into this crazy modern city, you really need to come here to the financial district, which is home to over 100 skyscrapers. And the craziest thing about the whole thing is 40 years ago, none of this was here. Shenzhen now ranks number 12 in the world for the number of skyscrapers. And here's a fun fact, Shenzhen completed 11 skyscrapers last year, which is more than the US and Australia combined. So this here, this is the tallest building in Shenzhen and the fourth tallest building in the world. <laughs> it's freaking huge! So Shenzhen played a big role in the opening up of China. The boom of Shenzhen into this metropolis today can be traced back to 1979 when it became a special economic zone. So this city is in many ways a pioneer in China. As an experiment in limited market capitalism, Shenzhen is home to China's first stock market as well as its first McDonald's. Recently, an initiative that's really captured my interest in Shenzhen is car sharing. So move over bike sharing, the future is here. It's a really interesting concept. Basically, you just download the app, um, you put in your bank details, you scan the QR code on the car, and then it unlocks it and you can use it. I just think it's crazy that here in Shenzhen and many of the other really modern cities in China, if you have a mobile phone, the world is your oyster. Sometimes when I tell people I live in China, I feel like they think I live in a slum or some kind of third world country. I think what a lot of people don't realize is how advanced China is in some areas compared to the rest of the world, especially when it comes to convenient mobile phone living. Here in China, the main form of payment is through Alipay or WeChat Pay which is all done through phones and QR codes. Here in China, when you leave the house, all you need is a mobile phone. In fact, I haven't used credit cards or cash in maybe two years in China. China is the land of the QR code. I'm always scanning, scanning, buying, buying. I've started seeing homeless people on the streets that no longer ask for like spare change. They actually have a QR code to ask people to scan their QR code and electronically send them money. And another thing I really like about Shenzhen is it's a very green city. There are numerous parks scattered around the city and on the side of the road there's always trees and grass. So it's definitely nice to know you can get in touch with a little bit of nature while you're here in Shenzhen. And Shenzhen definitely also has its quirky side. Something you may not know about Shenzhen is that it's full of theme parks. And this one here is probably my favorite of the lot. It's called Window to the World. You can come here and you can basically see the world in one day. Here you'll find replicas of the world's greatest attractions, just downsized. You'll see the pyramids, the Eiffel Tower, the Colosseum, it's all here. So if you're into a little bit of theme park fun, um, Shenzhen is definitely the place for you. 
this is such a new city, it means that it's also very ethnically diverse because no one is actually from Shenzhen. Everyone has either moved or immigrated here from other places. Everyone has their own interesting stories to tell, own places that they're from. And also, it means that you can pretty much eat whatever you want to eat here. There's someone from everywhere. And at the speed at which Shenzhen is growing, who knows what it's going to look like in the next 40 years. <laughs> 